Transparency International Papua New Guinea is hosting the second National Integrity Summit from today, November 17th and the 18th at the APEC House. The theme for the summit is bridging the integrity gap with the aim to inform stakeholders and partners, including reformers, through structured dialogue of innovative approaches being undertaken by state agencies to fight corruption. In his keynote address, Acting Chief Justice Ambeng Kandakasi challenged reformers to have a holistic approach to addressing the integrity gap. We need a system that will enable and inculcate in the families, then in the schools, then at university, then at workplace. People need to subscribe to things that we call honesty, things that we call integrity, things that we call truth, being fair, being right. Those are things that need to be emphasized. Day one began with the official opening of the summit by the acting Chief Justice and EU Ambassador Jacques Fardin, followed by a panel discussion on how the law and justice sector can do more to deter the corrupt and how good business practices can promote integrity in state investment. Second one, it demonstrates the European Union support to the PNG government, the civil society and the international community for an equal governance and integrity in this country. TIPNG Chairman Peter IT in his opening remarks said through TIPNG's PICE program, the organization has worked with five agencies to develop anti-corruption strategy aimed at strengthening government's response to combating corruption. We started here by using five state agencies to develop internal anti-corruption strategies to address the findings of the NISA, NISA uh, uh, project and to work at strengthening the work of uh, at further strengthening the uh, the uh, national integrity systems in preparation for the arrival of the independent commission against corruption once it's operational. Thanks for watching TV One News. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.